Welcome in. I've got a simple one, but a very useful one for you today, and that is table rescaling. Uh, so, if, for example, if you're trying to go from naturally aspirated on your your ignition table or your fuel table or whatever it might be, and you want to add uh, more resolution so you can you can get into boost or change your RPM band, and uh, this one. Thankfully, Max ECU makes it a breeze, so we're going to go over that. We're just going to go over here on the right and get 2D and 3D so you can kind of see um, how all this lays out when you have both the 2D and the 3D tables there. And the very first thing we want to do, so this you can see goes from uh, throttle position um, 0 to 96%. What we're going to do is we're going to actually change throttle position to map. And what we can do on that is you just come over here on this uh, side of the table and right click and then just hit change axis source. So you can give it pretty much anything you want, which is incredible, um, but uh, we can just go here and just change it to map and then hit okay. So the cool thing is when you rescale, you can tell it exactly how many uh, number of cells you want and you can tell it what its high and low values are. So for example, Say we want to add uh, pretty much twice the amount of cells, we could tell it 18. So if we go to change number of cells and then type 18, and then our lowest access value, let's put like 20 kPa in, and then let's say we're going to run like 21 pounds of boost, we give like 250 kPa as our highest value on that scale. And then just go ahead and hit OK. And you can see right here, uh, we've got 250 kPa all the way down to 20 and the cool thing is it just leaves off where your previous table values were so it went up to about 90 and that was our our last set of values uh, was this top row so above that it just sets everything to the same um, so that you can identify that that is uh, all the areas you changed um, this also makes it really easy because you can go up, for example, say like at, uh, say here where it's like 15 PSI, you can go in and just use the plus and minus on your keyboard and drop a whole row down to say like 14 degrees. That's always like a good 14 PSI, 14 degrees would be like a, a nice uh, starting point for boost on a lot of uh, efficient engines. And uh, grab this whole row, drag it down, to the last value where you want to blend, so this one that's 87.6, and then just go ahead and while that's highlighted, right click it and hit interpolate vertical. And you can see right there, it has just blended these values from 14 down to like 21 in here. You can see uh, vertically, they're all just blended smoothly. And then say up at the top, um, you want this to be really safe or something like that, you just take it down to like 10 degrees or something just as a safe value if you don't really plan to go up that high in boost or something like that. You can go ahead and hit interpolate, interpolate vertical and now you have a pretty smooth table um, that is safe for boost and scaled correctly. So you can also do this with like your fuel table, uh, really easy once again. Just go ahead and hit rescale access. You can change the source, but if you just want to rescale and you, you want it to be throttle position, you can go in and just change your values or the number of cells. So even if you want the same values, but just change how many cells there are, like 16 is pretty common for resolution on like a fuel table, go ahead and uh, just like that, you've added more resolution. And it just interpolates in between to give you that, that resolution. So, uh, you can pretty much use this same method with any of the tables uh, that Max ECU has. And uh, if, if you learned something and you like this, go ahead and uh, leave a comment and uh, subscribe. If you uh, really want to support us, become a channel member on YouTube. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. Thank you.